Hello everyone. Do you like reading? Well, this is a very good story of Loi. Let's read the book with me. Lucy loved flowers. Whenever she behaved well, something had happened very often. Because Lucy was a very obedient child, her mother would take her to a park where there were many flowers. Some as small as her cute little fingers, and others even bigger than her. There was a flower shop in the park. One day, Lucy asked her mother, "Can I take one?" "Let me see, let me see." Her mother hesitated. "I will take care of it," Lucy insisted. "Hmm. Do you promise?" "Yes," Lucy replied. Then choose one," her mother suggested. "Cool," Lucy said. Well, now Lucy had a problem. Which flower should I take? She got confused. Out of all the flowers, Lucy liked one that seems a little scared. "What is your name?" Lucy asked. "I do not have a name," the flower answered timidly. "Hmm. I will call you Flowey." "Flowey." I like it," the flower repeated. Then Lucy proposed, "Do you want to come home with me?" Mm, "I do not know. If you come with me, I will take a good care of you, and we will be the best friends in the world," Lucy said. "Wow, that sounded good," Flowey thought. So she said, "Okay, I will go with you." On the way home. Lucy thought about all the games that she was going to teach her new friend. Flowey, by her side, still did not believe she had a name just for her. Lucy put Flowey in the most beautiful window in her house, where she was going to get the most sun. In the mornings, she watered her so that she would be very beautiful. Since Lucy liked to dance, she decided to teach her flower how to do so. It is very easy, Lucy said. It's just I am a little shy. Chloe hesitated. Come on, come on, Lucy insisted. The flower jumped to the rhythm of the music. See, you dance very well, Lucy congratulated her. You are a very good teacher, Chloe answered. The two friends laughed together, and they danced and danced and danced. Well, they also played hide and seek. Six, seven, eight. Lucy said, while Flowey hid behind a garden tree. Nine, ten. I'm coming to get you. I'm here. Flowey said, hurrying out of her hiding place. Do not tell me where you are, or I will find you. Lucy explained to her, laughing out loud. Flowey had not learned the rules very well. Well, they also like to dress up a lot. Lucy is a princess. Chloe is a fairy godmother. I want a magic hairband, fairy godmother. Lucy asked her flower. As you wish, my princess. Chloe replied, waving her glowing wand. A beautiful sky blue hairband appeared on her friend's head. Cool, Lucy said. Much later, Lucy's mother realized that Chloe was sick. Hmm. I think someone has not kept her promise. She called Lucy. When Lucy saw her flower, she got a shock. What happened to Flowey? Well, did you remember to water her? No, I forgot. Lucy answered. Well, I think Flowey has dried up. Dried up? But what does that mean? Lucy asked. But her mother's silence said everything. Flowey became so sad. And that she began to wither. Lucy felt so sad; she cried and cried over her poor Flowey. She cried so much that she fell asleep, and then she dreamt about her friend, her smiling flower, her happy flower. Then someone woke her up. "Is that you, Mommy?" Lucy asked, still sleepy. When she opened her eyes, she realized 
that it was Flowey jumping with joy. You are alive, Lucy said. Your tears have healed me, Flowey answered. Cool, the girl said, really happy. Cool, the flowers repeated, also happy. I will never forget you again, Lucy promised Flowey as she hugged her. And she never did. If you enjoyed the story, we will appreciate your opinion on this. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to get another story reading next time. See you later!